Thank you, everybody. And Alexis has got her hand up, so she knows what this part of the show is. Go ahead, Alexis. Hi. Hi, how you doing? So good to see you. Good to see you, too. Yeah, just going to clean my camera. There you go. What's up? <sighs> just a report. That's perfect. Yeah. So there's been like the word I want to use and it's such a, there's been a lot of uproar in relationship. Uh-huh. And what, what does that word mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> coming up. But what I've noticed is that if there's clarity here, mm -hmm. it's all okay. Yeah, that's right. Relationships can come and go mm -hmm. and yep. struck, change. Mm -hmm. They do what they do. Get angry. You know, it, it, it is spring yeah. <laughs> so that's really it i mean the the experience is that there is no relationship so for and 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 for awakeness there is no such thing as a relationship there's only the one but it's only the none, really, right? It's just the, the uh, awakeness is, it's the only thing that is. Uh, other things seem to be, and they seem to be in relationships with this or that, but they actually, uh, they can't be because there's, you can't be in a relationship with oneness when there's nothing else. But um, for, not, for oneness, it's, there's nothing but relationship. There, it's all the it, it's all relationship with self yes so when identity misidentity which any identity is misidentity really so the if identity creeps in and there is the sense over there even briefly that i am an alexis what you'll notice is that clarity not only is getting ready to disappear, it's already disappeared. <laughs> because there won't be clarity and identification as Alexis at the same time. So when there is clarity and everything is okay, it means Alexis is absent. So yeah, when sort of there's a feeling of like, this shouldn't be happening. <laughs> if it shouldn't be happening, Alexis is afoot. <laughs> Because you remember that the, I was willing to surrender years before I did. I just wasn't went, willing to surrender to this, this. I was looking for some similar as this, but surrenderable to, or some other this, but not this, this. Because this, this consistently is as it is and must be, and as it must be always. And this was never enough for me. Never enough for Big Fred, the big shot, right? Or the the cool guy, or the or the worst guy on earth, or whatever. But I was always spoke in terms of division. And when there is the sense of division, there will be a sense of relationship, and 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 which isn't a bad thing, but it does mean it's not completely accurate. And so it can be the the foundation for suffering. Yeah, and you know if there is unkindness for example there's just a natural sort of like oh cool i can like take space from you for a little while <laughs> but alexis is is not so good at that fred is not either fred doesn't take things very well at all nothing does he take very well uh, because whatever's happening shouldn't be that's the way fredness sees it 
because the way things should be going here is exactly Fred's way. And I noticed that rather than being on a planet alone, this unit is on a planet with 8 billion others. And when we're all feeling like we're the center of the universe, somebody has got to be wrong. Yeah, 8 billion of us have to be wrong. So that sense of separation, that's even if it feels content, it won't be for long. If it, if, I don't know that it ever does, but if it does feel content, it'll be very, very short-lived. Right, but there can be a sort of a natural like veering away from certain activity without having a problem with whatever's happening. But that's you, that's not Alexis. But that that ha has <clears throat> right, right. It, that is awakeness. Awake right. and awakeness is is always fine with whatever's going on, because whatever's going on is always awakeness, and it's in in it's in the guise of oneness. But there's just oneness. When there's oneness, there's no such thing as oneness being out of sorts with oneness, other than in imagination. And in imagination, oneness without is out of sorts with many things because it does not recognize its own oneness. Because what I'm looking at here and what I've been looking at all my life, even when I was looking for oneness, I was looking, it was oneness that was looking and it was looking right through oneness for oneness. And that is, uh, looking for oneness is not a comfortable place to be. And what you will find is that I can't find oneness, but I do find all this other crap. Right. right? Yeah. So I'm glad that the, so the least, body just naturally either like flies right into whatever the drama. Yeah. Or, or it doesn't. Actually doesn't, right. Yeah. It just, it, and it sees it. There's witnessing, but it, when it's witnessing, what we notice in truth that there's only witnessing, that there's no witness and no witnessed. That's division. That's that's duality. So there's only witnessing, and witnessing is witnessing what? It's witnessing this. So there's no place for disharmony. There just isn't. But that doesn't stop these apparently independent units. Uh, from having what we call imagination, where we get to invent problems where there are none. But that's a Fred job. It's not an awakeness job. A Fredness will, will, will happily invent suffering where there is none. Because then Fred gets to suffer and go, poor me. And it gets to notice that it's always right. Yeah. You guys just don't seem to be able to get it right. Not when you're messing with Fredness. So it's identification that's at the heart of every problem. Not almost every problem, every problem. Right. And there's no right way to have a relationship because all relationship is unique. They are as they are. That's, you know, I, there's no right way to do anything, have anything, feel anything, see anything. We see as we see. We see as we do. We feel as we feel. Um, there is a, there's a, there's skillful, what I use, of course, is skillful and more skillful, by which I simply mean um, that that is division, but it's the it's the lightest duality that it lays sense of judgment that I can that I can come up with so far. So there's a sense of skillfulness, which is everything is great, and I, I I'm me and everything is great. And then there and then there's other times where I'm thinking I'm a me, me. And 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 really, everything may be sort of all right, but it's not okay. It's not just right. It's not as it should be, because that's our big. That that's the problem with misidentification. Is when we're not seeing from who we really are, what we're seeing will not be truth. We'll be seeing whatever whatever the identification identified. Um, part of awakeness, if you will, the Alexis uh, unit, will be seeing everything uh, that you'll be just notice everything that isn't. 
which is that, well, it just isn't good enough. It isn't, it's, it's not, it's not only warm, hell, it's too warm, don't you think? And it's right. <laughs> and it uh, goes from too warm to too cool to too rainy to too dry. And it's just never just right, except for, for a whiteness, which notices rain or shine, hot or cold. They all happen within me. I could care less. None of them actually affect me. They affect these units, and there is compassion for the units. But there's also the recognition that, you know, in truth, there, in truth, there are no independent units because there's no duality. It's just me. It's only me. The only thing I can work with is me. I am me wearing an Alexa suit right now. And I am me wearing a Fred suit right now. And uh, 30 odd other suits at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're thinking, so how often are you able to see things uh, as a whiteness and from the viewpoint of the no view viewpoint versus from a white, from a, a Lexus, do you think? The Alexis view. Yeah, no, when, when the, you know, when there's, you know, to me, there's no, there's no concept of, I mean, there's ego and ego and ego is just a concept, but. It is just a concept. Yeah. So to me, what I might call it is, you know, just a constriction. Yeah. Yeah. There's a constriction. And it has become like so painful that it's like so clear. Yeah. When it. The pain is what's pointing you back to the truth, isn't it? Absolutely. It's your best friend. Isn't it just it just sucks to have such an ugly best friend. But uh, it's been but it's been working over here right ever since I got out of the park so for 25 years I didn't even have to wake up to notice uh that um the the sense of a self-serving Fred is really found to Fred to be disgusting. Awakeness says, okay, that's that's as it is, right? <laughs> Back to its old tricks it is. But for from here there will be suffering until the truth is again seen, which is everything's fine. It's just, you know, you're just making stuff up. You're making stuff up faster and then you can make it disappear. And um, when I'm making stuff up, the first thing I make up is other, which instantly makes up by all by itself the experience of being outside of, uh, of being alone. I'm no longer part of this. I'm just Fred. And Fred is, God, he's a miserable character, I swear. <laughs> So he doesn't spend that much time here, but don't think he doesn't sh sh never shows up. He does. I'm perfectly as able to believe a thought as any other unit. I mean, yeah, I and to me, it, it can start with just the just a tiny bit, and I can feel it. There is an experience in the body, like in the foot or somewhere, where it's like I can tell. You got a grain of sand in your shoe. It feels like a boulder. Yeah. Just a grain. But that's our sensitivity level. When you spent a lot of time out of the dream, the dream itself is, is oh, no, please, not that. I'm not back into the dream. <laughs> Dreaming, right? So <clears throat> truth is what frees us. And uh, the dream is, is what throws us back into the yeah. And any life circumstance feels okay other than that. Yeah, right. That's it. Because any life circumstance is just a life circumstance. And you're not a unit. You're not even uh, in the circumstance. Uh, the circumstance is, we could say in a way, that it is inside of you. And that wouldn't be entirely inaccurate. But what we can also notice is that even for oneness, there is... Um, there's there's no other. Other is what makes us suffer. The idea and there's no other. So it's the idea of other. Because the moment that it's realized there's a me, 
then there's not only a me, but there's this that shouldn't be happening. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And this is miserable. And I like this. But uh, this suffering thing is not going to listen to Fred. The only thing it's going to listen to is a whiteness. And all the whiteness has to do, it doesn't have to say anything. All the whiteness has to do is notice, oh, I'm dreaming. And the dreaming ends. Just that fast. But if Fred notices, oh, poor Fred, he's dreaming again. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, that is not, that, that, that's, that may be the experience, but it's not the truth. So we have to learn to differentiate between thought, experience, and truth. And uh, the truth is what it is, and thought and um, uh, is, and, and dream are not part of truth, right? They are, they are the, the idea that there's truth plus something that isn't yeah. good, right? <laughs> there's truth plus. And that's when we suffer is when there's truth plus or when there's truth minus, yeah? But there's only truth. Only truth. If only we could see that. And we do, but it's hard to hold on to by yourself. It's slippery. The concept that there's just me, just this, just here, just now. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost too beautiful for any sense of. It's too mind. simple. It's too simple because that's just realization. And human beings are not set up to just realize beauty. Human beings are set up to, to pay attention to what they think about this. And what they think about this is really very poor in comparison to this. And so what we think about is our imagination. What would this be like if? What, what <laughs> has it, right? If only. So I get on my if only little ladder or little stool, my and I, you know, round if only, if only, if only, you know, which means not this, not this, not this. Not this is too simple to even believe. It's the imagination right. machine. Yes, the it is. It's the imagination machine. We get caught up in it, and it's just like gears. It just tears us up. And then one day we come to recognizing, you know what? What? Really, there are no gears. Oh, can I quit suffering now? Yeah, right? <laughs> Everything's fine. You're not being chewed up by gears. There are no gears. The gears are you're in your in your imagination. Whose imagination? Well, there's only one. So it has to actually be, in the end, it has to be a whiteness, uh, which is, or oneness, if you want to go it that way. Either way, um, believing in other. There's not a whiteness plus anything. There's no, there's no other. There's no comparison. What you are, there is no comparison. You're it. This is it. And we know, we know that this is it, but it just the mind cannot take on board that this is it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> because there's only this right i mean and i can say oh there's only this but in the mind it's going oh, it's only this it's not right it's not good enough it's not um i'm not on i'm not on board with this that's because there's a you and a this and as long as there's both but there's no separation between you and this the uh yeah there's a feeling in the mind like it, it can't be you know and it's this it's that feeling in the mind when we run with it then that has become our believed thought and it's and it, but it's going to be down the list of believed thoughts because the first because it's not going to be little, too little or too much or too bad or anything like that until it's been established that I'm an Alexis. There's a me here. I'm a Fred. There's a me here. And because Fred is an Fred is it, it, it's a uh, uh, reason for being is suffering. 
That's this is a tool of suffering. That's what it is. It's, it, 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 in the absence of a Fred, there's no suffering, at least in this world. That unit over there is in another world of its own making, meaning that in the absence of an Alexis, there's no problem. But in the presence of an Alexis, it's very hard to find anything that's just right. Other than the fact, but what about, I don't know what's right. I don't know what's right, and I can't tell you, but I can tell you it ain't this. Yeah. Thank you, dear. Yes. Talk to you later. Thank you so much. You bet. Always.